Hey YouTube, it's Ergo, and I actually had a, a really funny comedy video to put up today. I'm going to delete that to Thursday because I just saw a video that I really think all of you guys need to watch, and it just, I needed to make this video to share that, and it didn't fit the mood. Alright, so what am I talking about here? There's a video that, I guess it went up a week ago, you might have already seen it. It's called To This Day Project Shane, uh, by Shane Quigson, I think that's how you say his name. And it's basically a video about bullying. Um, it's... I'm not gonna lie guys, it actually made me cry several times. <laughs> Even re-watching the video, like right before filming this, I saw it earlier today. and. I, I maybe someday I'll be able to uh, talk more freely about my own experiences, but but just in general, I'll, I'll say this: I wasn't the most popular kid growing up, and I, I know there's lots of you out there. Also, um, the vast majority of you guys that watch either my videos or Social Blades videos, uh, just looking at the demographics, are. 13 to 17, so I, I know a lot of you are facing serious issues yourselves, and I, I just wanted to say, you know, it gets better. Um, work hard, don't let bullies get to you, and just, yeah, I, school is not the, the best place. If you're not one of the, the jocks, or, you know, you, if you are, great. Uh, but, you know, I, I myself definitely wasn't good at any sort of sports in school. I didn't have the most friends in school. I, I was picked on. And I, that's, I guess, just what this video is all about here. And I, 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 I'm going to include a short clip here. I hope uh, Shane doesn't mind uh, fair use just to show you guys what it looks like. Seems like every school has an arsenal of names getting updated every year. And if a kid breaks in a school and no one around chooses to hear, do they make a sound? Or they're just background noise from a soundtrack stuck on repeat when people say things like kids can be cruel. Every school was a big top circus tent, and the pecking order went from acrobats to lion tamers, from clowns to carnies. All of these miles ahead of who we were, we were freaks. Lobster claw boys and bearded ladies. Oddities juggling depression and loneliness, playing solitaire, spin the bottle, trying to kiss the wounded parts of ourselves and heal. But at night, while the others slept, we kept walking the tightrope. It was practice, and yes, some of us fell. But I want to tell them that all of this is just debris. Left over when we finally decide to smash all the things we thought we used to be. And if you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Look a little closer. Stare a little longer. Because there's something inside you that made you keep trying despite everyone who told you to quit. You built a cast around your broken heart and signed it yourself. You signed it. They were wrong. All right. Go over to his channel. Watch the full thing. I, I don't know what else to, to say here. Just that really if you if you are someone that is being bullied reach out to someone I uh, send me a message even I don't know if I can help all that much but you need someone to talk to and if you are the one doing the bullying I hope you did watch this video and perhaps you learned what it's like on the other side it's you might think you're just making a, a random comment but uh, and the person you're saying it to might not even react, but a lot of times these things do hurt. And just watch the video. Um, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and see you again soon. We grew up learning to cheer on the underdog because we see ourselves in them. We stem from a root planted in the belief that we are not what we were called. We are not abandoned cars stalled out and sitting empty on some highway. And if in some way we are, don't worry. We only got out to walk and get gas. We are graduating members from the class of we made it. Not the faded echoes of voices crying out names will never hurt me. Of course, they did. But our lives will only ever always continue to be a balancing act that has less to do with pain and more to do with beauty.